Wow, I just feel like I got a whole bunch of presents to myself. My goodness. Hey, it's Nisha. I have a very large box here full of jewelry from several auctions that I won from the same person on eBay. So I'm going to open it up and we're going to take a look. All right. Okay. Ah, okay, great. Nicely wrapped. I like that. All right, so we're just going to choose a bundle to start with. Okay, we're going to the right. Wow, it's a heavy bundle. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> There's like at least five pounds of jewelry there. All right, so we're going to start with this one. So I'll put the box away. Whew, and we'll start with that. And we're going to work with this one. All right, cool. All right, so we're going to open up the bag. Oh, I love that. Smiley faces. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, look at that. Oh, thank you. Okay. Smiley face and thank you. Well, definitely five stars for packing. Excellent packing. Okay. Wow, look at that. Oh, wow, they're like all individually wrapped. Dang, look at that. See that? That's great. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just do one at a time. And we can start with this one right here. Okay, wow. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, these bags are so cute, too. All right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with that in, inner bag. We'll start with these three right here. All right. So, oh, wow. Let's see what we got in here. Oh my gosh. I just love this. This is like spectacular. All right. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. Wow, look at that. It's definitely a nice statement collar necklace. Beautiful um, vintage piece. Let's see. Let's look at the clasp here. Kind of open it up. Okay, so there's no manufacturer on there. You always want to look at the front. Uh, that's the back. Always look at the back and then the front. And then that's how it looks, the construction of it. All right, great piece. Okay, love it. Wow, I just feel like I got a whole bunch of presents to myself. My goodness. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at that. What a gorgeous necklace. Looks like glass beads. Just testing them. Okay, let's do our little test here. They're cool to the touch. They have some gold tone on them. Just looking at the class, it looks more like a modern piece, but that's fine. It's still a nice necklace. Really like the way the beads look. Nice choker there. All right, cool. Look at that. <laughs> All right, fun. Oh, 
Okay, so this is a fun necklace. Let's see, so you all can see it. Nice uh, gold tone chain with some floating elements in there. It looks like it's New York and Company, so I'll show you the hang tag. And it's also adjustable. It's a modern piece. It's in good condition. All right, so here's the hang tag. All right. And then here are some of the um, plastic elements. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, nice heavy chain. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Okay, so for something like this, I would list this on eBay, Poshmark, Macari. And uh, I would do this using a cross-listing service called List Perfectly. I have some uh, video about it in the description below where you can take a look. Now, what I really like about this is it's a very heavy uh, chain. It's a statement necklace, so you could wear it with... Um, work or with a dress and it, you know, it would have a nice uh, effect. It would be a very stunning piece, but it also is a, a gra graduation, meaning it's going from a smaller size to a larger size. So we have a modern piece. So let's look at how we know it's modern. And that's mainly through this uh, clasp here. It's a lobster claw class, which could be earlier, could be vintage, but this one is slightly enlarged. And then we have this extension chain, which looks more like a modern extension chain. Necklaces, vintage necklaces can have extension chains on them as well. All right, cool, fun. All right, so we're coming to another bag. So let's see what's in here. Wow. Okay, let's we'll start in the top here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so it's plastic uh, stretch bracelet with metal beads. Cute. All right. And then we have, I don't know, what's in here? Oh, there's a couple things in here. Okay, so we have a couple things. So we'll look at the silver tone item first. Now, it, this is marked 925, so let's check this out. Okay, so that's the bracelet. It's called a box clasp. No, not a box clasp. It's called a box chain, and I'll show you that closer in a second. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to see if this is um, sterling silver, possibly by... Okay, so it's not sterling silver. The reason we know that it's not sterling silver is silver is not magnetic. Okay? All right, this has definitely got some type of steel in it or um, something else. So this hang tag on here that says 925 is uh, incorrect. But what I could do is if I wanted to, I could sell the bracelet, which is a pretty bracelet like this, and just take off that little hang tag. Okay, well, I'm a little bummed. Okay, <laughs> moving on. All right, so we have this beautiful bracelet here. Really like the way that it looks. Oh, 
Okay, at first I thought it was a vintage piece um, because of the pattern of that chain, but it's not. It's a reproduction. And it's not such a good quality reproduction. So the some of the reasons why I don't think it's vintage is because it it's very shiny <laughs> and it doesn't have any tarnish on it. It's still a very pretty uh, bracelet. And then the plating on it is not very smooth, especially if you look around the, the clasp area and then you have the uh, jump rings are more of a modern set. I don't know, why, why don't you tell me why you think this is vintage or not vintage? And if you know this type of chain, I would love to know uh, what, what this is. All right, cool. <laughs> okay, that's fun like the look of it. Isn't that great? Looks like uh, mounted rhinestones with uh, enameling. All right, cool. I like the bangle. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, fun. So I like the enameling. And again, a nice uh, spacer or even a bangle has a good look to it. All right, cool. <laughs> okay, so what is this one? Oh. All right, so I like the way this looks. I like the uh, silver tone color, uh, meaning it's a silver color, but it's not made from uh, fine metal. I like the panel segments here that create the uh, chain of the necklace and then you have these floating uh, beads these are called um, you can call it floating station uh, there's another term for it too let's see let's see if this is vintage okay so let's take a closer look Now let's look at the clasp. Okay, there's something written on the clasp. Now it's a C, it's a spring clasp. Let's see if I can read that. So I'm going to use my loop. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it says Germany on it. So sometimes you'll have pieces that are assigned uh, Western Germany, and those pieces are usually from the 50s and 60s. This piece does feel right to be a vintage piece. It's kind of cool looking. I like the way it looks. All right, cool. That's fun. else do we have in here? Oh, very pretty. Oh yeah, that's very nice. Interesting. 
Interesting. Okay. So has the, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like gold tone metal with this to me looks like bone, but it, the pendant is very lightweight. Uh, I don't know if anybody's seen this before. Let me know. I'd be curious. But it has a really nice look to it, like how the the pendant goes dark to light, and then we have that vintage style uh, chain on chain on here. And I'm going to take that back. It's not vintage style because this is a vintage piece. This is a a vintage chain and then we have that clasp all right cool cool piece all right so we're opening the second of the three large bags and let's see what comes out of here all right we'll pull everything out <laughs> and then we can go eeny meeny miny mo okay we'll start with this stack here <laughs> Oh, I, this is all together. Okay, cool. <laughs> Probably if I wore bracelets, I would know what this is, but I'm not, I, wear, I wear necklaces. Um, I guess it's just uh, bangles that you wear together. It has a really nice look to it. Modern piece. I guess with the bar back here, it keeps it spaced evenly for you. All right, cool. All right, so we'll start with the little bag. See what's in the little bag. <laughs> All right, little hearts. Okay, so just looking at this, it looks vintage uh, except for that clasp, but let's take a closer look. I love that pendant on that. Isn't that great? It has a uh, Chinese symbol on there, and I don't remember what that means. This is glass. Wow, that's really pretty. Let's see if we can get the light shining through it so you can see that. Isn't that fabulous? Gosh, that is just wonderful. Um, and then you have... This lobster claw clasp, which is on the smaller side. But the chain is vintage. Interesting. Almost makes me think that maybe the clasp was replaced at one point but I just love this piece. Cool. Okay, so we have a pretty uh, pendant necklace. looks like some type of stone but I let's take a closer look okay it's a little bit cool to the touch but not cold I think it's plastic I don't see any air bubbles in there take a closer look yeah it looks like plastic okay All right. see what you think and then on the back, we have that look with the texture, kind of showing us it. it's a modern piece. Any information on the clasp? Hmm. There's a C clasp. Okay. All right, cool.
Okay, so the crucifix and the chain are two different uh, gold tone colors, and there's a little kink in the the uh, chain right here. All right, so let's just take a look. I don't think either one of these are gold, but yeah, that's definitely magnet magnetic. All right, and then let's take a look at the crucifix. That's really interesting. So this little section right here, that's vintage. And then the, you can tell over here, see how it folds over? That's vintage as well. But the cross is not. See how this is like plastic coming up here? It's got all that texture on there. I mean, it's fine as a modern piece, but if, if you're trying to find vintage, then it's not helping you when you get that. All right, and then looking at the necklace, it looks vintage. Hmm, interesting. All right. So it looks like it may have been upcycled, which is fine. People like upcycled pieces. Okay, cool. Ooh. I like all the colors with the paper, too. <laughs> it's like so many pretty colors. Okay, so we have a charm bracelet with some um, glass beads and then the um, Nothing written on the back of the charm. I really like the look of the toggle clasp. That's a nice texture and pattern on it. All right, cool. All right, so we're, we're back to, we're still on the second bag. This is the big section of it. All right, cool. All right. Oh, look at this. This is very pretty. Oh. All right, let's take a look. Wow. Look at the shimmer on that, on the beads. That would look great. Wearing that. Oh, fantastic. Let's see, is that vintage or not? Hmm. Show it to you. That's the back, and then that's the front. The beads have a really nice weight to them. Look at when you have the faceted beads, look at that shimmer. Oh, that fantastic! Oh, it's really great condition. I don't know. It, Nice and heavy. They do feel kind of like glass. All right, let's go to our old standby. We're going to look at the drill holes. Let's see if I can get in there. Okay, it looks like glass. All right, cool. Great piece. like losing like little pieces over okay wow look at that fabulous statement piece Ooh, look at that oops it's not on the frame sorry <laughs> okay now look at it <laughs> isn't that great wow i love the tassel with all the different types of chain on there and then you have that great thick um, chain going through here. Nice statement piece. Look at that. And then we have that lovely chain. Now let's look at our box clasp. So really nice decorative. Well, that's not a box clasp. It's a fold over clasp. 
really nice decoration. And then, oh, okay, it's a Monet, all right? Let me turn around so you can see it easier. All right, cool. That's great. You know, this could be, they have a, a line of um, Etruscan designs. I wonder if that's part of that or not. Hmm, interesting, I have to do some research. All right, cool. in here. Oh. Fancy schmancy. Ooh. Very elegant and modern. I love the pendant on there. I love the combination of the gold tone and the silver tone. And then that really delicate uh, silver tone chain. Wow. Okay, so we know it's modern. We have that elong, uh, not elongate, uh, enlarged lobster claw clasps. And then we have the extension chain. Let's see if it's signed anywhere in the back. I don't see anything. Okay, great piece. All right, cool. Oh, this is a great statement piece. I like the combination of the plastic with the pattern on it. And then you have that nice uh, snake chain. A little bit of tarnish on it. Take a look at the chain. And then there's the front. Very cool. Any, uh, yeah, no information on art. All right, here's the last bag. All right, so we have... <laughs> okay, two, two bundles, so we're good. Okay, so we have this one. <laughs> okay. That's very pretty. That's a nice look to it. Uh, nothing signed. Just kind of a heavy lucite bracelet. All right. Oh, this is glass. I can tell as soon as it hit my hands. Beautiful vintage piece. Nice uh, choker collar. Was like 16 inches with the faceted beads on there. Oh yes, gorgeous. Just looking at some of the white beads, they look a little bit different. Uh, let's just see. I wonder if those are... Oh no, they're glass. Okay. They're just... It's an older piece, so the glass is just worn. Alright, cool. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, so this is a bit worn. Yeah, it's really worn. It's the um, there are glass beads with a coating on it, and you can see the coating is starting to come off on that. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's just take a close look at that clasp. Looks like silver. Okay, I think it might be silver clasp, but so I, uh, I will check it for silver. All right. Okay, a little upcycling going on. <laughs> we have two different types of uh, chain right here. And we'll take a closer look at the pendant in a second. Yeah, I think it's plastic. It has a nice look to it. All right, so let's take a look. Kind of fun with the two different chains on there. All right, cool. All right, so this is our last bag. So we have a couple pieces in here. So we'll start with the pink one. Oh, interesting. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is like heavy duty here. Okay, wow, that's a statement piece. That would look great uh, for a party or something like that. Even has like a, like it feels like a collar or something, the wrap completely around your neck and then this is like a festoon style where you have the chains coming around and wrapping reconnecting back into the necklace it's really interesting it has this really heavy duty clasp on it it's pretty unusual in jewelry i think um just trying to see if there's a manufacturer on here Some wearing on the metal. Yeah, I might send this through the machine and see if I can get it to clean up a little bit. Uh, the metal looks like it's got some, it's not really patina on it, but it's got some type of aging to it. Not quite sure what's going on with it. It's too bad. It's a really great piece. All right. Oh, we got two in here. Okay, so we'll start with this one. <laughs> wow, that's nice. I like that one. Okay. Look at that. Wow, okay. All right, that's going to be hard to resist. <laughs> like, I want that for myself. Okay. Nice. I like the fold over clasp. It's super shiny, though, for a vintage piece, but it has that construction. Look at that construction. Hmm. It does have that 19 feel, a 70s feeling. Uh, and it, oh, what a feel, okay, I won't go there. Um, maybe this is, I'm going to pull this out because maybe this is part of a set, so let's check. Sometimes with jewelry, manufacturers might sign the earrings, but not the necklaces and vice versa. So that's not uncommon. So let's just see, it looks like these are matching earrings. Yes, they are. Let's see if they tell us anything else about the necklace. Nice dangling earrings. Okay, uh, yeah, I think these are reproductions. Okay, so I think they are. 
Hmm. You know what? I have to do some research because I am not sure. The, at first I thought they were reproductions because they're not clip-ons. A lot, you get a lot of clip-on earrings from that era, 1970s. But that doesn't mean there wasn't pierced jewelry. But looking at the ear nub, this little section right here, that is an older piece. So I'm going to do some research and see if I can see if anybody else has um, a similar type piece to this. But super fat. Okay, and then we have, and this is our second to last piece. Ooh. Okay. So. All right, so we have a hematite stone cross. It looks like it might be vintage. You know, we have that. That closure I just told you about, the connector right here, it's vintage. And then we have the um, barrel clasp, very vintage, especially with that tarnish on there. Hmm. You know, I super doubt that that's a diamond, but let's just check. <laughs> just for fun, because we haven't used a diamond tester. So we'll warm it up, <laughs> waiting for the other light to pop on. All right, and we have one little one to go. <laughs> okay. Nah. <laughs> Just like for fun. Okay. All right. Just having fun. All right. All right. And drum roll. Da, 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 da. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is in here? Ah. Very pretty. Nice and chunky. Look at those big beads. Looks like... Uh, Imitation stone beads. Wow, I like the way it looks. Isn't that great? Very good condition. Has a great look to it. Nice. Okay. Well, that's a great piece to end on. All right, cool. Thanks so much. So if you'd like to learn more about List Perfectly, I have that video I mentioned earlier, which is in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, then give us a like and then hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.